Charms Matic. What's going on, girl? Man, man, the world. Man, oh man, we, man, where, where did we leave off at? We, we left off at about what? About a year ago, man. What's, what's up? What you been into? Uh, nothing went back in the semi. Tried the owner operator for a minute, failed. <laughs> so now I'm doing a uh, company because gas is too high. Too high. The rent is too damn high. The people I'm here to represent can't afford to pay the rent. Cause rent is too damn high. <laughs> you said gas is. Don't don't you mean fuel? You're a truck driver now. It's fuel, not gas now. Oh yeah, fuel. <laughs> Same thing. Gas is high for the regulars. Jeez. I saw where gas was higher than fuel. I was like, ooh. Bet you they wish they drove a semi. Man, so Charles Maddie, so you say you tried to you tried to do the owner op thing. What 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 happened? What what was the what was the route that you took to 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 go there? Um I was just well when I was uh ten ninety nine last time we spoke, I was doing a straight truck ten ninety nine like for Panther, FedEx type of thing. And I was like, you know what? I can, you know, at least try to do this myself. Which oh. I was good for a minute. And then, you know, is on our, you know, you run into those problems of uh, running to some horrible dispatchers and brokers. And unfortunately, they can make or break your business if you let them. So, what, so for, you know, for, for people, or, you know, like females that's interested in getting into the owner operator, because, you know, we got a few females that's like in the Facebook group, they jumping in and they over here talking about, yo, I'm going to buy a truck next year after I get my CDL. What what would you as a as a female that try owner operation? What what advice you have to give them to maybe be a be successful? My number one advice is get your resources now. Um, also, to understand in the beginning, it's going to be very, very rough. Because when you have a new authority, a lot of people will not touch you. And that's, you, you just have to prepare yourself for rejection, unfortunately, in the beginning. Why these social media types... Uh, the TikTokers trying to make it look so, you know, getting your own, your owner operator, uh, own authority. Why, why do they make it look so easy? But it's, it's really difficult. But why, why do they come more on social media trying to make it look so easy? I feel that if you knew something was horrible in the beginning, you probably wouldn't attempt it, right? You probably wouldn't be interested in somebody's story if they didn't have a whole bunch of positive things to say right that, that that's how i feel i feel like you know we glorify the positive of everything because you know it draws you in you're like wow this person is doing so good they're making all this money like i, I need that right now i need to do that but then they're not telling you like the truth you, sometimes you did head all the way to a low and then somebody already picked it up the broker didn't tell you so you call the broker and they're like oh well you know and, They're and not telling you, you about get, and you don't double, get paid for that. Exactly. They don't tell you about double and triple brokered loads that, you know, you barely got this load for like a thousand when the first broker got it for like two or three, you know, and they just skimming off so much off the load. Mm. Like it's a lot of that they don't go into. Because you probably wouldn't continue watching them if you knew it was so much hard work or, you know, it had some bad to it. Because, you know, us, we, we, we don't want to hear the bad. We want to hear all the good stuff, mm -hmm. the positive that can happen. Mm, mm, mm. And that's and that's kind of and that's kind of messed up for for new people that that sees that and they get, quote unquote, inspired by it, you know, by uh, a social media influencer and then they jump into it and mm -hmm. and then they you know get all crossed up but you say in the, you you say 
uh, get all the resources now and to know that a lot of the brokers is not going to mess with you because you're new, right? Correct. Like, until your authority really hits, like, that 60, 90-day mark, it's it's going to take a while. Like, like you're going to reach out to people because you see a low going for, like, cheap, but you need something to get up out the area, and you call them, and they're like, mind you, the low is, like, super cheap, and you just need to get up out of a dead area. And you'll call them, and they're like, oh, no, sorry, we need someone with authority of like 180 days and you're like are you serious for this low like you know it's, it's so much audacity in the business you're like how but i feel like those people on social media you know who i, I feel like they got in at a good time you know you you have to see what's going on around you the politics there's a lot of politics in it you know, and stuff change, you know, you could be getting ready for next year. And then there's a new insurance thing that you need. And, you know, that wasn't in your budget before when you heard that all this person need was this policy. Like, like it's stuff changes wow. all like consistently. So and you have to learn how to move with them changes. So with these older cats, veterans, uh, owner operators, they keep telling people not to take cheap freight, right? But by the sounds, mm-hmm. but by the sounds of it, the brokers is kind of forcing you new guys to take the cheap freight. Am I am I correct in saying that? Yeah, I mean you when you first start your business, you are gonna be a target because they feel like you don't know better. And a lot of times you don't. A lot of times, you know, like you say, you, you're following these social social media people and they're telling you, hey, you can get like $10,000 for one loan. And you're like, ooh, that's good money. That, you know, that will pay for everything and I'll be able to do this and that. Mm-hmm. And then when you actually go to look for your loans or try to establish a relationship with people, you're like, uh, all I'm seeing is cheap freight. What do I do? You know, and nobody wants to share. I'm not saying nobody because some people do share their resources. But then you have people who are like, oh, nope, you're going to take out of my mouth or, you know. Or they want to get, or they want to get quote unquote paid for it. Like, you know, oh, okay, I'll talk to you for a cost, uh, for a consultation fee. Oh my, yes. There's so, like, it's crazy because I ain't going to lie. I was one of those people that got pulled into, you know, the whole YouTube thing doing research. And then people who were brand new, literally just like a month or two out, were like, yeah, we're doing consultations for like $200, $400. And I'm like, you're brand new. Excuse you're, brand me, you're brand new, new yourself. Why are you like, but you see that everywhere. Or I give you a list of brokers that deal with new authority for this much. And and it's like, I understand that's an extra hustle, but it makes me feel like, what you're saying is not genuine and you're lying about your numbers. That's how I feel. Exactly. Exactly. So charm, uh, how, how long was it when you got, uh, your, well, let me ask you this. What was the process of you getting the truck? Like, did you go through, uh, did you go through a, like a, 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 a mega carrier to get your truck or you went through a financial company to get your truck or did you go through a finance okay. company that, that works with a mega carrier that you can only drive for a certain mega carriers or a certain carriers. Which which route did you um, take to get your truck? First, I was going to rent, but then I was like, rent renting was crazy. But then I'm the type of person I I like to have an out at all times, no matter what I get into. I I like to have an out. But I end up looking up through uh, Richie Bros. A lot of people don't know. Auctions have financing. And I basically got financing with my through my business credit. Mm. So Which that's how I got my box truck. It was a, yes, yes. It was a, um, it was a 2016. It was a 28-foot box truck. And... At the time, I believe I got it for like twenty thousand. Okay. Through. How, how much you had to put? How much and, you had to put down for it? 
Only five thousand. Oh, that ain't bad. About fifteen, about fifteen k to pay it off. Um, I ended up selling it. Luckily, like their process to um, sell it was so easy. Okay. <clears throat> like it was easy to sell it. Um, like compared to. Okay, like if I were to rent, because I had met up with this broker who uh, was helping us get loans, and they also had their own truck. They said they were paying about close to, I believe they said like thirteen a week, and I was paying like thirteen hundred a month. I was like, "Oof!" Now see, that was hard dis- uh, decision. Now see, I I I kind of like talked to people back in the day. I had a cup, you know. Uh, I I talked to a few people that was like. You know that was like running a quote unquote trucking business from the house without even owning the mm-hmm. truck and and by the way come to find out that they was just renting the trucks from penske mm-hmm. enterprise and stuff like that and i'm sitting here like well how you call yourself a a, a company if you don't own the trucks you just renting it i don't get it um, because it was an easy way to get into the trucking business and to hurry up and get your authority. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, that's that's basically what you know. Renting helps you do, you know, cheaper insurance. You hurry up to get the insurance, you get the authority going. All right, so unfortunately, you 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 kind of ran into a roadblock uh, with 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 some issues and you decided to get out of it how how long how long was it before you decided to uh give it up and did you did you like you know have a moment and be like yeah that moment uh i would say i had my business for a good eight months and it's okay with my business credit, you know, my LLC, I ended up investing into a semi because that was our end goal. You know, we, we were going to do the Bosch truck for a minute and then, you know, get everything together to get a semi. And I got a semi from, where are they call it? They're in Mississippi. I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember what they're called. Anyway, it'll come to me later, but I... We got a semi through them, and the truck kept breaking down. Wow. Like, like it pushed us financially so far back. You know, I just kept trying to hold on and hope. And, and but that, main, like, that, like if we that maintenance, that, that maintenance, the upkeep, and, and, and paying the note on it was just, getting, was just getting deeper and deeper, and y'all was too far from it, right? Yes. Freedom Way Trucks, that's that's what the place is called. Freedom Way Trucks in like a uh, golf court or something like that. Mississippi is where we got the truck. And we haven't even had it for a month. We, we were leasing that of uh, 900 a week. And it's like every time I turn around, they're like, oh, where's your payment? I'm like, your truck is in the shop again. Like, I haven't been able to do anything. Luckily, these people did try to right some of the wrong with the truck. And they did give me like you know, half of my deposit back for the truck, but what was the what was, that, what was the making what really what was the year making model of the truck? It was a Freightliner Cascadia twenty sixteen. Okay, okay. And it and did you now let me ask you this, Charm, because you know, sometimes people are gonna be like some people will jump in the comment section and be like, Oh, well you didn't take a mechanic would you you didn't you you didn't you know give the truck once over did you actually go in and had the truck checked out before you actually met you know put the uh put the dot the i and cross the t on the dotted line i submit my mistake i didn't okay okay learning 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 process. I did not. Learning. Luckily, they let me take it to a Freightliner and let them look it all over. And they paid for it. Because they have, like, their own mechanics. But, of course, you know, when I had my first breakdown, they were like, you know what? We're going to have Freightliner check everything out on us. 